Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My, I'm Jo, and you might have seen in the in, uh, beginning of that video, that's uh, Bastion. He's grown quite a bit. Um, I haven't got round to doing a video, but I'll, I'll, I need to get some editing skills and <laughs> put together some of the videos I've done of him since I got him, so you can have a proper look. Um, anyway, uh, this is a haul from my town, uh, a town an hour north of me. Um, yeah, I haven't got round to doing a video recently. I've been busy making something and putting together a happy mail for my sister, which I'm hoping to get in the mail this morning. Um, today's Friday something of September. I don't even know. Um, yeah, this is a Thrifty Thursday video. Thrifty Thursday is hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. Um, she has a list of all the other people that participate. Go check it out. Um, let's get into it. Okay, I... <laughs> I got another Winnie the Pooh book because, you know, I need apparently hundreds of them to make a Winnie the Pooh journal. Um, this one's cute though. I love the size. Perfect for, you know, I like having different size pages. Um, the illustrations are the old, the old school ones, which is what I want to use. Um, yeah, I need to stop saying um. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Uh, where am I going to put this stuff? Uh, over here. Um, found this Richard Scarry things to do, no things to know, not things to do, things to know book, how old is this, 60, 70, 71, oh well, same age as me, old, <laughs> and that is cool, I love Richard Scarry, it's no, it's not nost nostalgic, you know, by things that remind us of our childhood and stuff, I bet I'm not the only one who does that, oh, that's so cute, um, yeah, so I got that one, and then on the same note, I found the animals Merry Christmas, also Richard Scarry. So yeah, some cute things in there for Christmas journals, which I'm not very good at. I, <laughs> I've been doing the same December daily for two years now, so maybe this year I actually <laughs> finish it. I don't mind if I don't. No pressure. Um, I got these colouring books, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Creative Haven Owls, I love owls, uh, and yeah, I love colouring and <laughs> when I find time amongst all the other projects we always want to try and do, right, um, and then another Creative Haven Nature Mandalas, which is quite cool, rather than just, you know, just patterns, there's things in there it's bugs or oh, frogs that's cool tigers or a lion not sure um yeah so i like those and then there was this one which i thought can double as you know junk journally useful as well as coloring and sorry if you can hear rummaging in the background that's bastion um yeah so it's got the page for you to colour and then the image you know of obviously the original drawing on the other side so you know I can colour in and then some of these they're quite big but some of them I'm sure I'd be able to you know fussy cut out little parts of them so it's rather pretty that so I thought that well that's kind of cool so yeah it's, it's multi-use <laughs> which, which is always good can use something for other things, more than one thing, rather. That's from Ophelia. Um, yeah, so I liked those, they were pretty cool. Uh, just some inject paper, just grab this. What's this one? Brilliant white opaque paper. So it would just be good, just basically good quality Photocop uh, photocopy paper stories from other lands I don't normally grab these but I got this one because what was that oh Bambi cute <clears throat> um, anyway flip through all that stuff I got it mainly for wait for it <laughs> not 101 Dalmatians not Alice in Wonderland not whatever that is. Sword and Stone. 
Here, uh, I got it for Mary Poppins. It's really hard to find stuff on Mary Poppins, actually. I've got a few bits and pieces. That I'd like to do a Mary Poppins journal, I think. <laughs> you know, I thought it would be kind of cool. A little bit different, so... What triggered that was I bought some charms, some bronze charms and stuff off AliExpress and they had these cute little umbrellas and I went, oh, they'd be so cute in a Mary Poppins journal. And <laughs> so now that's what I'm doing at some point. I uh, got this little cute little book, The Walking Holiday. <laughs> Sweet little images. <laughs> little dogs packing for their little walking holiday. How adorable is that? I thought that was <clears throat> super cute. I love that image there. I got this purely for nostalgic reasons. I loved the wombles. <laughs> I used to watch that all the time as a kid. Super cool. A wombles journal would actually be really cool. Add it to the list. Man, I should write a list. I wonder how many there would be. Loads. Too many to even imagine. If I have enough stuff that I could do them. <laughs> to be honest, I must do a little craft room tour. Let me know if you'd like to have a look around my, my little, it's not really a whole room. I share this room with, I've got an air hockey table over this back there. So it's kind of our little games room and my craft. The other half is my craft room. The Cat in the Hat Beginner Book Dictionary in French. Do I speak French? No. <clears throat> is this book cool though? Yep, sure is. So yeah, English. I look at my watch and then in French. Not even going to try and say that. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. <laughs> I love this. Yep, totally loving this. Glad I grabbed that. Okay, what have we got? Some miscellaneous items. Um, I grabbed this mainly for the jar, but I think it turns out that the beads in there are actually glass. So, so is this. So cute. Um, I found some cards. I want to do an apple journal. <laughs> Hence this cute card with apples on it uh, this is just an old it's actually a notelet obviously out of a set that that envelope does not go with that card but I just gra grab you just grab them out of this box you see so I grab that and this is a, a um, Marjolaine I think it's pronounced Marjolaine Baston um, card it's super pretty and the envelope the envelope stuck so I just got to steam that open the envelope's super cool as well so yeah, I like that. I can't remember what's inside. Oh no, it's pretty inside too. Surround yourself today with all your favourite things. I will. <laughs> um, and this one. Cute envelope with the um, cool edge on the envelope. And then the cards embossed. It's really pretty. Just plain. Oh no, not just plain. Something on the back. It's talking about the flower, the hellebore. So that's cute. Okay, now little bags of bits. Saw this trim which just really needs a wash and then ironing so you can actually, hang on, let me try and find a bit that's not super scrunched. There. So it's, excuse me, <laughs> this is actually really pretty and will be, like I say, when I wash and iron it. So I got that. I got this little ba bag of miscellaneous because basically about Probably one thing in there, I saw, what was it? Oh, it was a dollar. Uh, that one, that's pretty bog standard. Same with that, and that. <laughs> oh, that's quite sweet. Uh, this one looks pretty old. So that's cool. Yeah, I would have got it for this. I love these trims. This little piece. Uh, this one, what's left? A little peachy coloured one. So, yep, yeah, those. I got this. 
These are sweet. That's nice. Destin, don't eat your chair. Sheesh. Uh, this one. I like these. I've got a few of these now. They, I've got to press some of them though, because once they curl up, this one's okay, but once they curl up, they, they'd be nightmarish to use. Um, and then just this. It's just got a couple of embroideries. Whoops. Blue one and a pink one. You just they're cool to use <clears throat> in journals. What is this? Vintage Robin. I don't know why it says Vintage Robin 915. To be completed. So someone obviously started this and never finished it. But it's that what they have done is gorgeous. So it's like, and it's on beautiful linen. It's definitely, definitely vintage this. But that's gorgeous. I won't finish it because I probably wouldn't do it justice, but I'll certainly um, give that a careful hand wash and press that and use that in a journal or on a cover. It's lovely. I found this one. I just like this. I don't know what they call that type of work. Yeah. So I'm not sure what that is, but it's really textured and it's super cool. <laughs> so I grabbed that. And then I've got a pile of doilies and stuff. So that one. Now these two. So they're, they're both the same. They need ironing. <laughs> Uh, this, oops, this bit of tatting, which is unusual, the lilac and white one. Three of these. Um, some cool glue tatting. So it's unusual. It's a cool colour. Uh, this. I don't know, a dressing table cover or a tablecloth-y thing. It's cute pink flowers on there, both sides, and then some little ones. So that's cool. A few stains. That doesn't bother us. Doesn't bother me, anyway. Um, this one, it's more, it's actually three bits of little pink flowers. <laughs> so it's quite cute. I could take it apart. Take those, no, you wouldn't take those apart. They're all done, but yeah. Cute. Another piece. <laughs> I grab it for my sister mainly. I was going to put that blue one in a happy mail, but you know, I hadn't filmed my uh, haul, so she'll have to wait. That one, a little lavender embroidered on there. I mean, this is a shop bought thing, but that's a hand done embroidery. Another little one. I think I've said before, I really want to scan some of these. I've got lots of vintage, like, embroidery um, pieces, and so they actually make cool digitals. Got this one. Man, I've got a lot. <laughs> that one. How is everyone, anyway? I hope you're all well. We are here. Yeah. Sun slowly starting to come out occasionally. But getting there, thank goodness. And kind of over all the rain. I've got three of these. They're so cool. So yeah, I really like those ones. That one, there's one more. This one's more aged looking. So yep, those. And last but not least. Just uh, another round crochet door. It's gorgeous. It's super fine, this one. I love these ones. You won't add <clears throat> any bulk, really, to your journal at all. So that is that. So, yeah, go me getting that done this morning before I even go to the post office. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all well. Thanks for watching. 
I'd just like to say hi to Candice. Um, I love your videos, Candice. <laughs> um, and Ashley from Ashley's Treasure. I should link all these channels that I like down below, but, you know, I haven't. <laughs> I'm sure it's not difficult. Um, right, well, I'm going to go upload this. You guys all have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.